For more on that, we're joined by uh, Tim Anderson, the director of the Center for Counter Hegemonic Studies, who is joining us live right now from Sydney. Now, sir, if you could please tell us, the West particularly, the United States, has a long trajectory of destroying countries like Syria, Iraq, Libya, and Afghanistan. Washington has been clinging to uh, the excuse that it is fighting terrorists in Syria. But there have been numerous reports of U.S. forces transporting these very terrorists back and forth to keep them safe, and also explicit acknowledgments of uh, the U.S. officials, including Trump and the U.S. in Syria, for its oil. Which of these accounts sounds more plausible? Well, the Iran's ambassador is correct, of course, that the NATO states have been providing safe haven for and supporting terrorist groups in Syria for more than a decade now. This was admitted by many senior U.S. officials, including the current President Biden when he was Vice President eight years ago, um, that his ally, U.S. allies, close allies, were financing and arming all of the armed groups, all of the insurgent groups in Syria. Now, so, of course, the pretext to be fighting uh, terrorism in Syria and Iraq has always been a false pretext. On top of that, you have, as you mentioned, the unilateral coercive measures against Syria, stealing their resources and depriving Syrians of access to their own grain and their own oil. These are very serious crimes. So uh, Israel fires missiles into Syria, a sovereign country, through uh, the airspace of Lebanon, another sovereign country. And Syrian officials have time and again asked the UN to stop this from happening again. Uh, when, if ever, do you think that action from the UN will finally come? Well, as it's well known, there's a deadlock in the UN Security Council, which was set up to prevent war, precisely because three of the five permanent members are NATO members, the US, the UK and France, and they are precisely the ones who've been carrying out the several dozen wars of the last couple of decades uh, in Latin America, in the Middle East, in Africa. Um, so th there's no real uh, end in sight to this paralysis in the Security Council. There has to be some other ways of um, putting an end to this type of um, nurturing of terrorism and carrying out the destabilization of independent states. Thank you very much. Now, that was uh, Mr. Tim Anderson who uh, joined us live uh, from Sydney, and of course, Mr. Tim Anderson. He is the director of the Center for Counter-